what's up people i hope you all are fine today's topic is importing or embedding audio file in your html web page or html document so here we are going to use audio tag source tag src and control attribute so let's get started if you guys are planning to purchase domain name or web hosting service i would recommend you domainracer.com you can visit their website and can check the plans plans are really very affordable they use lightspeed technology and provide you pure ssd disk space also provide you free ssl certificate and 360 degree malware protection also provide you 7 plus strong security features like immunify 360 and immunify av plus okay the customer support is awesome and available round the clock 24 into 7 server locations are uk india usa germany france singapore canada and many more using the free website builder tool you can build or design your website without having that much of knowledge of website building and website designing so let's get back into the topic let's cover the theoretical part first the audio tag is used to embed sound content in a document such as music or other audio streams src specifies the url or location or path of the audio file which is saved in your computer Control attributes specify that audio controls should be displayed such as play button, pause button and the text between the audio opening and audio close uh, closing tag will only be displayed in browser that do not support the audio element. So let's cover <coughs> it practically. So this is my basic syntax. Okay. Uh -huh okay so this is the basic syntax of our html document so now we are going to use audio tag and let's see how it works so you have already read about this audio tag is used to embed audio in this html document okay and src will specify the source location of your audio file so uh, my source location is the same uh, in which this html.html file is saved so i don't need to uh, allocate the whole path i just will define the name and extension of that file and it will work for me how it works news one this is the name of my audio file and this is the extension of my audio file so this is how i defined the path of the audio file now uh, you have already read that src specify the url and path now control attribute spice, uh, specifies that audio controls should be displayed so now let me show you the result i'm saving this and refreshing the page you will see the audio file is not yet embedded in our document so the reason is we haven't specified control here as soon as we specify as soon as we define controls here you will see our audio file in our document now you can see the controls actually the audio file had already been embedded in our document but without controls attribute you won't be able to see the audio file on our uh, web page okay so this is the play and pause button okay then this is the seek button you can forward it or backward it okay you can uh, seek it to the point that you want to it to be started and this is your mute unmute button as well as audio controls okay so this is how you embed a single audio in this okay so it says the text between the audio opening and audio uh, closing tag will only be displayed in browsers that do not support the audio element for example in your web page you are using a type of audio which doesn't support um, uh, any of the browser user using for example i'm using uh, google chrome okay and the user of uh, the developer of this website have embedded a audio type which doesn't support my web browser google chrome so it will display the message and how will you define the message you will simply write the message over here between this opening and between this closing tag okay uh, this browser doesn't support this audio 
file okay so uh, so if this is the audio type which my browser does not support then this message will be displayed in place of this uh, audio control okay this is how it works now the audio tag contains one or more source tags with the different audio sources the browser will choose the first source it supports so now here we have embedded a single audio which is news one if you want to embed more than one audio how will you do that so using source tag okay in source simply type the uh, path of the file then type of file so i'm using audio file here and the extension mp3 okay and same audio file you have in a different format okay for example the same file news one was in mp3 format and uh, the same file is in ogg format and uh, same file is in wave format okay the purpose of this source tag and uh, embedding audios multiple audios of different types but same audio the purpose of this suppose your browser doesn't support mp3 it will display the ogg file suppose it doesn't support ogg then it will display uh, the mp3 file or the wave file okay as it says the browser will choose the first source it supports so the purpose of embedding same file in different format is if your browser doesn't support one of these file the supportable file will be displayed by the browser so this was a topic for today guys i hope you enjoyed this video and i hope you will practice these tags after watching this video till then bye bye take care keep learning keep searching and keep practicing